This class has had a lot of firsts, especially the second semester. And today we have the first of recording the baccalaureate mass, which will be shown on Sunday morning for all to see. But tonight, uh, we do pray as representatives of the Brebeuf community, and we pray for the class of 2020 for all that your futures will hold and in thanksgiving for all that the past and the present has been. So why don't we just take a moment of quiet and each of us in our own hearts, uh, pray for what it is that we hope for for the class of 2020. Lord Jesus, our loving creator, Lord have mercy. Lord. Christ Jesus, our friend and companion, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, our advocate and consoler, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And, my, and may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. And let us give glory to our God, glory to God in the highest, and Amen. peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we come to you here this day to give honor and glory to you. Open our hearts and our spirits to receive the word that we are about to hear proclaimed, that we might follow in your love and your mercy. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. There is no God besides you who have the care of all that you need show you have not unjustly condemned. For your might is the source of justice. Your mastery over all things makes you lenient to all. For you show your might when the perfection of your power 
is disbelieved. And in those who know you, you rebuke temerity. But though you are a master of might, you judge with clemency, and with much lenience you govern us. For power, whenever you will, attends you. And you taught your people by these deeds that those who are just must be kind. And you gave your children good ground for hope that you would permit repentance for their sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit comes to the aid of our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings. And the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, 
because he intercedes for the holy ones according to God's will. The word of the Lord. with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus proposed another parable to the crowd, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everyone was asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat and then went off. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. The slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have the weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. His slaves said to him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, no, if you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the wheat along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then at the harvest time, I will say to the harvesters, first collect the weeds and tie them into bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. The Gospel of the Lord. Before we have our reflection, I just want to say a few words, especially about the gospel. Uh, the past couple weeks, we've had uh, agrarian stories, parables about uh, growing. And in today's gospel, we see where the weeds are growing along with the wheat, the good. And yet God, uh, in terms of this story, says, I'm going to allow both to grow together. And the reason is he did not want to jeopardize the health of the wheat. He loved that wheat so much that he did not want anything to jeopardize that it would live. That's how he is with us. He wants us to live. And yet we know that the weeds also grow amidst us. Our situation that we find ourselves in with the pandemic, you know, with the Black Lives Matter, you know, with uh, LGBTQ situations, so much going on in our world that the weeds are there. And yet, what I want us to concentrate today is on the wheat, on the good because that's what we celebrate amidst all this, is our class of 2020. And I look at you as the wheat, that we want you to grow 
and to be strong, to be fruitful, and to be the people that you are made to be. That's what we celebrate. So now I invite Lauren Lamberson, member of the class of 2020, to share with us some of her reflections. Thank you, Lauren. I remember how nervous I was walking into Burbuff my first day of school three years ago. I had just transferred from a large public school to this new, much smaller private one. True to myself, I showed up in an all pink outfit. I mean, pink Adidas, pink shoes, pink shirt, pink backpack, even a strawberry serenity kombucha in hand. I looked at all the other girls and thought to myself, there is no way I am ever going to fit in here. And that, to this day, still holds some truth to it. I would say that I never found one specific friend group at Burbuff, but rather a number of friends in completely different places. See, at many schools, like my old one, once you found a friend group, those were the people that you talked with, ate with, party with, no exceptions. However, I think that that is what makes Burbuff so special. There is none of that here. I feel I speak for everyone when I say that at Burbuff, you are not limited to one particular group of people, but encouraged to befriend as many different people as possible. Whether I was learning about my assigned group mates in Mr. Hogger's Algebra 2 class, or listening to my G1 friends through Kairos, I believe that Burbuff achieves its goal in creating a well-connected community. Moreover, I learned a very important life lesson here at Burbuff. The saying, don't judge a book by its cover, is one that is often said, but seldom practiced. After my very flamboyant appearance on the first day of school, I most definitely never saw myself becoming friends with the incredibly monotone clothed girls that walked past me in the hallway. They turned out to be my best friends. A weekend that I was dreading, a DC conference, where I would be attending self-improvement workshops on a Friday night instead of hanging out with friends, turned out to be my favorite weekend of the year. I admit, I have a long ways to go before mastering this phrase, but because of the pleasant surprises you all have been, I will never stop trying to. One other thing that shocked me is how many different perspectives such a small class can hold. I would not say that my mindset on the world was half of what it is now prior to coming to Burbuff. I am so lucky to have classmates that comment on situations, speak up about concerns, and question ideas. Each of you has given me some new knowledge, regardless of if I have talked to you personally or not, and that is something that I am eternally grateful for. Furthermore, I would like to mention that I would not be the person I am today without the people I have met at Burbuff. Would I have been able to further my passion for healthy eating? No, not without all my amazing friends that attended my club meetings or my co-leader that would come over despite working a six hour shift after school just to prepare a recipe with me. Would I have been able to do well academically? No, not without my teachers and my classmates that spent countless hours teaching me concepts that just would not click. Would I have been able to stay strong during a worldwide pandemic? Absolutely not not without all the Zoom calls or social distancing parties that my friends encouraged me to participate in. Lastly, these few months have been nothing short of extremely difficult for everyone. However, I powered through by looking to my rebuff peers for guidance. Instead of just letting the time go to waste, one of my classmates became the next Martha Stewart of baking, while another became an electric guitar master. Some on their fitness journeys, some worked through their fitness journeys through a Chloe Ting workout program, while others worked to become TikTok famous. Seeing all the productive activities that each one of my classmates engaged in inspired me to make the most out of every single day. Thus, I would like to thank all of you for that and beyond. I know I transferred to Burbuff in search of a better education. However, I left with much more than that. I left with knowledge that lies far beyond the classroom, with a community of people I am confident I will still be in touch with years from now, 
as well as with memories that bring a smile to my face and fullness to my heart. I can only hope that the people I meet in the next stage of my life will match the amount of joy that each and every person at Burbuff has brought to me. The only thing that would have made it better if you would have been dressed in pink. <laughs> Please stand, and now, as our faith community, we offer our special needs. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, sent to make disciples of all nations, may we teach what Christ has commanded in the gospel of love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that God may give them the grace to work together during this pandemic to promote justice and special care toward the poor and vulnerable. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parents, grandparents, families, and friends who made the sacrifice for us to be able to attend Burbuff, may God's blessings be always upon them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the senior class, that they rejoice in the friendships they have made during their time at Burbuff, and that these friendships will continue to grow. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered and tuning in from home today, that we may have eyes to see God in the goodness of people and give us ears to hear God's voice and the call to service and to love in our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Loving God, we thank you for hearing our prayers. Continue to bless and guide us to be people of joy, hope, and peace. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and the work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine, and the work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. And pray, my sisters and brothers, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to our Almighty God. May God accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our benefit of all God's holy church. Lord, send your spirit on these gifts, and through them help us be filled with courage and love, and make holy the sacrifice we offer in your sight. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks. Give, let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Almighty and Eternal God. For you give your gifts of grace for every time and season, as you guide the church in your marvelous ways. You give us your spirit to help us always by his power so that with loving trust we may turn to you in all of our troubles and give you thanks in all of our joys through Christ the Lord. 
And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so then may come for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was portrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now at our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, king the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. For those of us here in the chapel, let us gesture to each other the exchange of peace. And for those at home, uh, for those peace uh, with whom you are watching this, and for those for whom we all wish to offer peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, 
grant us peace. peace. And now is prayer of spiritual communion for those who cannot receive. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall forgive you. The body and blood of Christ, for the sake of our Lord. Oh 
Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, place your hand upon our graduates as they and their families celebrate this grand milestone. May they delight in the continued embrace and support of the rebuffed Jesuit community as they journey through life. Enable them to stay true to their dreams for their greater glory, to discern what is right, good, and just, and to use their gifts wisely and in service to others. Empower them to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love, guided by your light, so that they may use their talents to, in the words of St. Ignatius Loyola, go forth and set the world on fire with their passion and love. In gratitude, we pray. Amen. And now for one more reflection, I invite uh, Livingston Benjamin to come forward. Throughout my life, I've had many ups and downs, times of sadness, heartbreak, confusion, and also love, joy, and happiness. When I was young, I was a very happy kid. I always played outside with friends, watching Victorious or Drake and Josh, then doing homework and going to sleep. It was a daily routine for me, and it was one of the best times of my life. Never had to worry about anxiety, stress, depression, or any of those things. I never had to worry about who likes me, never had to worry about how I was gonna be treated because I was a kid, just having fun. But everything started to change in middle school. I started to get bullied, and in my uh, first, I started to get bullied in my first middle school. It wasn't pleasant, and it was, and it was really hard to get through. At the time, I had also lost my grandmother, and I was also getting terrible grades. But even in the hardship, I had one main goal in mind, and that was to make it out for my family to get them out of the struggle. I then made a switch to go to St. Matthew Catholic School. This was probably the best decision of my life. This is where I began to find my old self. I started having a whole lot of fun with the most amazing friends that are still in my life to this day. I began to transform into a respectable person who really didn't have a lot of mental problems and a hardworking boy who was fighting for not only himself, but also his family. Then I had a decision to make at the end of my eighth grade year. Where was I going to go to high school? It was a very big decision and it was kind of like a popularity contest. It was really hard, but I was a man who had many options. I applied to six high schools and got accepted into all of them. Out of all six, rebuff was the best choice to make in all aspects of my life. Sports were great, academics were second to none, but what really made rebuff stand out were the people. Rebuff was a place that made me feel comfortable. It was a place that I knew would change me academically, athletically, and psychologically. I knew that if I made it through rebuff and I was still intact, then I knew that I would have grown and changed by the time that I graduated. Coming in my freshman year, I had a very hard time adjusting from middle school to high school academics. Rebuff was just a lot harder in every aspect. I had a difficult time in football I was challenged to perform my best while being a 15 year old going against 18 and 19 year old men almost every game. The only thing that I didn't struggle at was making friends. I'm known to be a sociable guy and I don't know, I don't know if this is true or not, but um, I lost myself. But people tell me that uh, everyone likes me. So I guess that's why I just don't have trouble in that area. Um, in sophomore, as sophomore year came, football got a little easier physically, but harder mentally. 
I was a sophomore who was starting every game and played in the biggest game of a high school football player's life, State. That year was more mental than anything because being one of the four youngest starters that year, there was a lot of pressure on us to make the correct choices, make the right play, and execute day in and day out. Academically that year was a breeze. I had some challenging courses, but I loved it, and going to school was actually fun. I also got some of my close friends that year, and it was overall the best year of my life. Junior year, we had probably the most challenging academic year ever. I also had the most challenging athletic year. I went through a lot not playing that year, and it sucked to not be out there with my brothers. Junior year was the year that changed me into the person I am. I've had a lot, I have had a, I've had a whole different outlook on life. I've developed a different mentality. I've become a person who cares more about the whole community rather than just certain parts of it. I became a man who wants to bring the community together to have fun and become one. Going into senior year, I kept that same mentality. It helped me within the classroom, on the football team, and in the rebuff community. It also helped me show colleges and universities that I would be someone who would be a great student at their institution. Not only did rebuff give me the ability to become a strong-willed young man, but it also helped me give help to others. The growth in my life was mainly due to the grad at grads that rebuff holds a standard for every rebuff student. These standard principles tell students how we are supposed to grow and show the growth while we are a rebuff student. One other place most of us have also grown, but me specifically, is spiritually. I've never been a churchy person, but I love and appreciate God every day for what he has given me. Rebuff retreats have been a big part of that, and I love how Rebuff allows us to grow in more than one aspect of our lives. I've grown so much while being here, and it's been a mind-blowing experience for me. I went from the guy who went to the dean's office because he was in trouble to the guy who went to uh, the dean's office just to talk to Ms. Torres and Dean Adams about how my day was going. I never went to the academic offices ever when I was younger. But uh, once I got older, I was less afraid and I would go in Ms. Rhodes' office and talk with her during sevens just about how my day was, about college, about football, about females, anything. <laughs> I grew from a guy who was afraid to uh, take advantage of my opportunities to actually being someone who took those opportunities and used them to my advantage. Overall, the Burbuff community is a great thing to be a part of. It has helped me grow from a boy to a man, and it, and it never would have happened without my family, teachers, and friends. I would like to thank everyone on the, in the 2020 class for all being incredible people and helping me in my journey. I would like to thank the teachers who pushed me, got on me, and helped me academically. And I would like to thank all the parents of the graduates who put up with us, pushed us, and supported us through the, hard and most, through the hardest and most amazing four years of our lives. Thank you all for being in my life and helping me be a man for others. Thank you. Uh, before we, we finish with the final prayer and song, I would like to thank Liv and Lauren for, for your sharing with us today, and for uh, Zoe for reading, and for Rachel and Nina for singing for us. Uh, for our sound crew that uh, really spent a lot of time putting this together for us for the very first time, and so I appreciate all of you who have participated today. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharist, our prayer is ended. We go in the Lord's peace and the Lord's joy.
Hello, before we end our time together, please join me in praying the prayer for generosity. Lord, teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve you as you deserve, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labor and to not ask for any reward, save that of knowing that I do your will. Amen. <laughs> 